Look how fast this machine is, guys. It is going quick, so we're printing something, and it's gonna take about two hours, but. All right, today we're gonna to bring a 3D printer. This is Creality K1. It's one of the fastest ones in the market, one of many, all right? There's a lot of fast printers, but we're gonna open it up and see what you get. First of all, if you guys can see it, it's well packed. Everything that you're gonna require is in the actual system. All right, when you first open it up on the top of it, it's well secure. I like this whole setup. I mean, they have this plastic here, this foam here, all right? And in the foam, if you guys can see, there's actually extra stuff that you need to be aware and it's telling you to remove a couple things and add a couple things including the actual cable in here so we'll put this on the side all right out of the box they give you these rubber legs all right that you need to set up include it uh this is where the filament's going to go in the back all right and also they give you enough so you could print out of the box all right and of course the display itself very secure very cover you're gonna have to set it up here uh inside to give you another box with cleaning equipment and also uh, USB if you want to transfer certain files in there uh, Allen wrench and to remove the actual um, print head they are, I like this tool this is one of my favorite it looks like an Allen wrench but it's not it's actually to remove the actual printer head all right I think that's important make sure that this is all the way down because you need to clear the door all right it needs to clear the door that's important all right important there's a screw here if you guys get allen wrench you got to remove it there's an arrow sticker it tells you where to remove it right here's another one in the back and there's another one right here in this corner if you guys can see so we're going to remove them all from the actual bed to release the bed first so let's go ahead and do that right, very important that i've seen this in videos you got to make sure you remove the plastic in here because this will melt and damage your base right just make sure Prior to set, setting it up, you got to remove that. I removed the go ahead the screws and don't forget the foam in the back. This is very important, so I'm gonna remove this. All right, in the back is very simple. You got your power source right here, your power button. Uh, like I said, you could add a filter, maybe an exhaust going out if you want. And this is where the filament goes. If you guys can see, it says it's going up. So you're gonna sprung it out here. You're gonna set it up through here. It goes to the two but right now we're not going to do that we're going to calibrate the system before we even start to actually do that part so we're going to go ahead and do that and set up the filament have it all ready and see how it works so i like the padding in the back i like how they put all this in the back the plastic it's one close well built to be honest with you they took their time on this one it looks beautiful so we're going to go ahead and set it up and see how it works all right i'm going to crank it up in the back I turn it on and we're waiting for it to pop up. You can open it up anytime you want to see everything in here. This just glass is just to protect and keep the heat in here pretty much. All right, so we have it set up already. It's gonna go in here. We're heating up the actual nozzle first prior to setting it up and making sure that it's gonna drip properly, right? So, all right, if you have issues with the flashing of the actual light, and it's turning off on you it's because you are set to the wrong voltage you're probably set to 230 like i am i'm gonna have to change it to 115 it's supposed to be united states 115. Uh, i bought this brand new machine and uh, k1 creality and it came with that so i'm gonna go ahead and change it you can't see it here but it is set to let me see if i could get you light somewhere it is set at 230 right now so we're gonna try to see if we can change it let me see if i can turn on the light there it is so right now it's at 2.30. That's why it was flashing the light. So we're gonna go ahead and change it to 1.15, all right? Uh, so if you guys can see that. So we're gonna go ahead and change it. Grab something, one of the alien wrenches and just do it from there. So we're gonna go ahead and print. Now we got everything set up. And we got a couple of prints in here that we're gonna do, all right? That we go to our files. We're gonna do the benchy, and it's about, it says 16 minutes, it says it's gonna take, so. Check out the print they did. Really quick, really fast, looking, no lines whatsoever. I really, I really, really like this. Let me show you guys, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit better. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh, standing print. And first of all, look at that. Came out flawlessly. Beautiful prints that came out. So we're gonna print something else too. This thing's fast. This thing did it in 15 minutes. 
All right, let's check out how noisy this is. We're printing the hope right now. And just to let you know, I do have it outdoors, so, but I keep it outdoors for a reason because it's loud. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.